Awesome. In this video, we're going to get you started with SpriteKit. So to do that, we'll start by creating a new project. So you can create it off the dashboard or go to File, New Project. So previously, when you made these projects and when you're creating a UI kit game, you would go to iOS and then Game and use that game template to embed the Sprite Kit inside of your app. So you would have the language as Swift and then as Game. But we're not going to do it this way. We're actually going to create a Swift UI game scene. So I'm going to app and iOS and then that way I have the option to change the interface to Swift UI. So I'll give it a little name and then from there instead of storyboard which would be UI kit we'll use Swift UI and then the language is the same. So I'm going to choose a place to put that. I'm going to put that onto my desktop. Then once that's loaded up you're presented with your coding window. So let's give you a little run through. So at the top here is where you can select your simulators. This is which device you'd like to display your game in. Uh, try and pick something modern but not too modern and if your computer is a little bit slow then sometimes it's worth choosing an older device. Remember that whatever resources the simulator uses it would be similar to the actual device if you owned it. So uh, choosing sometimes something like an iPhone 8 would use less resources of your machine. So it's a good little tip for you. Uh, once I've selected my device then the preview will show up which will allow me to see what it looks like and we have this beautiful live preview within SwiftUI. So for example if I change this text to Hello Gamers it should display in your live preview. Often this won't display if you have an error within your code. So we can also hide and show any of these sections using the little obscure icons on the top right and there's also similar icons at the bottom here which allow you to hide and show your output. The next thing we're going to need to do is to present a game scene. So we have to make a new file in order to do this. Uh, so I'm going to step you through this process fairly slowly. So I'm going to go to File, New, File, and then we're going to choose a Swift file. Previously we were using Cocoa Touch, but we're just going to create a Swift file which will allow us to create that class. So I'm going to call it Game Scene Swift to make sure it's in the same place as our project and that it should appear uh, as a part of our project. First thing we need to do is to import SpriteKit, which is the 2D graphics library, which includes physics and is excellent for making our games. From there, we're going to define a class. And this is similar to the UI kit uh, code that you would have used previously that was a part of the template. So if you ever need a reference back, you can always look back at the UI kit uh, references for creating game scenes, but we're just going to present it slightly differently. Then create that class, and then we're going to have an overriding method for. Uh, if the view loaded, so if it moved to that view, uh, then we're just going to get it to print out a little message saying uh, the game scene loaded. This is just a little proxy for the moment, just while we get things up and running. From here, we'll go back into our content view. So I'm going to select that on the left hand navigation column, go to the content view, and we need, need to define our scene. So this is um, a little bit of setup. So we're going to create our screen width and we can use our UI screen.main.bounds to find the width of the screen and we can do the same for our height as well. Uh, this will just give us a static uh, variable or uh, constant which will allow us to use this screen size in our game scene. So then I'll create that game scene um, and then I can use my screen width in order to create that. If I hadn't created the game scene in that screen scene.swift I wouldn't be able to find uh, the game scene like I have done on line 19. There's just a couple more pop properties that we need to change. So I'm going to use my scene. And I want to look at the scale mode. And I'm going to fill that to, to contain the whole space. And I'm just going to set the background color to white. So we can modify this later on as well. Uh, or depending on the game and what you want to do. Or if you want to have a background image or something, we can also do that. And then I need to return that scene so that it presents the scene as part of that closure. Okay, so from there I need to create a VStack. Um, and inside that VStack it's going to create a sprite view. And then we can present our scene, which we defined there at the top. And the last thing I need to do is to use a frame modifier to get our height and width, which again we can use because we created those constants. Um, and then we can set our alignment to make sure that it sits in the of the screen. Uh, I'm also going to ignore all the safe edges so that it fills up the whole space. So this should load up fairly quickly um, and now in the next video I'm going to show you how to actually start creating some games.